When the city nailed two workers for steering business to companies that gave them kickbacks, the mayor's office said those companies were just as guilty as the workers. But we have discovered two of those companies still have lucrative city contracts. News 13's Alex Goldsmith asked the mayor's office why. He's live downtown. Dick, Jessica, the city made big claims about going after any vendor involved in pay to play when this story first broke. But the mayor's right hand man tells me there's a good reason that the city's still buying from these companies. June 9th, 2010, after a six month investigation, APD officers raid two city vehicle yards looking for evidence of a big kickback scheme. City parts managers Ruben Montoya and Ralph Garcia are arrested, charged with taking gift cards and other benefits for steering city auto parts contracts to certain companies. Both Montoya and Garcia quit and have since pled guilty to bribery charges. But the city wanted more. Here's then city attorney Rob Perry. The city does intend to pursue legal action against those vendors. Vendors like Parts Plus. According to a criminal complaint filed by APD, Ruben Montoya told an informant he got a laptop from Parts Plus in exchange for giving them city business. But less than a year and a half after saying they'd consider legal action against Parts Plus, the city gave the company another contract, nearly $400,000. We asked now Chief Administrative Officer Rob Perry what happened. If there was sufficient evidence to proceed against the vendor themselves, um, we would have done that. Perry says he drafted a lawsuit against Parts Plus, but never filed it because the APD investigation didn't turn up solid proof against any of the vendors, a fact the case's detective APD Lieutenant Donovan Olvera confirms. Documents provided to News 13 show the city stopped doing business with Parts Plus for a year. Perry says without better evidence, the city's hands were tied. The law does require that we allow them to compete for additional contracts unless we can show that their activities would disqualify them. And the police investigation didn't do that. Another parts vendor, U.S. Distributing, was also suspected in the kickback scheme. They're still getting city business, too. Neither of those companies called us back when we asked them for comment. Back to you. All right, Alex, as we reported Tuesday night, neither of the convicted city employees will do any jail time. Ruben Montoya got a year of house arrest, while Ralph Garcia's plea deal calls for probation.